what's good everybody it's kale and we're back at it with another another my team video and i had originally recorded this video but for some reason they didn't capture the beginning so i'm gonna go through the beginning again when you see a giant cut just know that's that was the video that i, I was originally gonna uh show y'all today's video is about 97 overall mr deadlift scrimp i think that's how you say his name and you know, as you can see, my level, you get him for, reach, for reaching level 33. Uh, hit 33, I think, about an hour ago, maybe a few hours ago. And, yeah, this is this is the card, you know. Power forward, small forward. I did not know this until I flipped the card around, but he's 6'10". So, definitely, uh, definitely welcome on my team, you know. Tall, I like, everybody likes to have the tall lineup. And definitely welcome to my team, 6'10". So, I mean, look at the stats right here. You know, pretty pretty decent. 80s and 90s starting out. 90, 93, 93, 3, 93 mid range. You know, his driving dunk is a little low. I will say that. Like, I I wish he could get contacts, but uh, he does come with gold post rises, so maybe he can get some every now and then or if he gets hot. But 610, you know, with the 86 ball handle, you know, players got floor driven or you know your coach. It's easily a 90 ball handle, and I mean hell, that's even a an easy easily a 85 driving dunk once he gets hot. You know, with the coach, players having floor driven, you know, so. Yo, you got you got to take these stats a little bit of grain of salt because all these are getting boosted. When he scores one point, all your stat gets boosted. When you get takeover, it gets boosted even more. Like I said, the coach and uh, teammates have influence in general. But yeah, you know, here defensive stats again. He's six ten, so I'd probably play him at the four. You know, at the at the three for me right now. I have Evan Mobley, as you can see, Evan Mobley running, and I don't really, even though he's a ninety four overall, I don't really see some players taking his spot as of right now. Seven foot can do it all, but as you can see right here, twenty one half badges almost 40 gold badges and i mean geez again this player is 610 will be your four man like hall of fame catch a shoot hall of fame difficult hall of fame corner hall of fame post like he can he can bang in the post he can shoot three circus threes hall of fame like it's crazy hall of fame slid three hall of fame downhill need a threader he can pass the ball set shooter hoff uh, quick first step hoff and pluckable clutch shooter dead eye sniper stop and pop like post playmaker he's 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 definitely a pick and pop guy, at least for my team he will be, but he can definitely bang in the post with these badges too. And then no good on his gold badges, fearless finisher, drop stepper, put back boss, Anch gold ankle breaker. I mean, come on now, again, this build is 6, 10, like gold ankle breaker, gold dimer, chased on artist box clamp. So, he, you know, he, he can definitely switch and guard with gold clamps, and he has decent, you know, perimeter uh, defense. We saw his attributes a minute ago. Gold post rise, as I mentioned earlier. Post with knockdown, limitless spot up, gold. I mean, that is huge. That is huge. Like, anytime you can space the floor out and get, say, their Ralph, their Kareem, their Dave Robinson, their Matumbo, their Yao Ming, whoever, their, their center out the paint and space the floor, you know, three beats two, but that, that'll definitely make it easier to get twos if their big is not in the paint. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get into the gameplay now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I really like that jumper. Really like that jump. I wonder what Tom is on. Yeah, I mean, got to get 60 points. Got to get 36 with him, and got to get at least five threes. So, usually, I like to do these challenges. I like to get them. I get like to get them done as soon as possible. Good D. Like I like to come down if it's if it's getting a certain amount of threes. I like to get all the threes first, and then uh, work my way from there. It's probably off. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I like to. I don't know, like, I like to, to spam it until I get one part of the challenge done, then I worry about the rest. So, like I said, I'll probably get all the threes done first, and then I'll worry about getting a 36 later. That's off. Go ahead and spot up with them. Ah. Uh, contest, good contest. Should be a block. Yeah, get that out of here. This player is moving, you know... This player's moving decent for for a 610 build. I mean, like I said, his, his player build itself is pretty good. Kind of a wider build. Definitely got long arms, but I mean, he's, he's definitely not a twig out there. But his player build is moving fairly, fairly good. Better, definitely better than I thought for a player to be 610. We got board right here, easy board. I want to get Kemp off me. I want to get a shorter defender. Oh, that didn't work. Kind of pass. This is two points. Okay, he's got sharp take. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, preferably, I mean, I usually like lockdown take because I like to uh, play defense on this team, even though I'm off one right now, ironically. But sharp take, that's definitely fine. You know, big, they can get sharp take and stretch the floor. I mean, a lot of people are playing with Yao Ming, you know, Ralphs. It's to get them out the paint. Matumbo now, I mean, get them out the paint and make it easier for me to attack. That's, all, that's always a plus. That's going to be off. All right, see if you can get another three with him real quick. We should have a snatch. That should be ah, he got a contest. Even then, that should I feel like that should go in there. Like that's definitely a greenable shot. But I feel like with take like seven percent, slightly early, you know, slightly late, whatever, that should definitely go in. Oh, we got we got scrimp on scrimp right here. Uh, I need the animation I want it. Let me see if I can get the move I want. Yeah, that was that was a better move. We got the three off, so uh, I think that's our third three. See, so, yeah, we did. Yeah, might be. I think that's our third three. Uh oh. Okay, Gary Payton. Okay, okay. And Sloan's a defender too. Like Sloan can definitely be an on-ball defender for you. For him to get that uh, ankle breaker animation, that's that's tough. shot I was about to say bad shot but eh, it's a good shot if it goes in <laughs> definitely a definitely a key to basketball you can say what you want but if it goes in it was a good shot coach <laughs> shoot it shoot it I definitely like these challenges though the challenges of you know I feel like triple threat is the, is the quickest way to get to get something done you know if the challenge isn't you know get say 500 points triple threat is definitely the quickest way to get stuff done like from uh you know, 60 points, that's that's gonna take no time. That's all that's a bad release. But 60 points in this and get 30 points with him and five threes, you know, this this is gonna take. Okay. Yeah, he's, yeah. Even with Scotty with his take though, ah. Yeah, I, I definitely I definitely prefer this rather than playing a, a actual game, you know, with quarters and, and a minutes. Like I definitely prefer this. That's cash. I think that's my fifth three. I definitely prefer this over uh like I said, I mean, even the John Morant one for this season, it's, it's three-minute quarters, but still just takes so long. Like, this right here is so much better. Like, 60 points, I mean, if I, if I didn't have to be too specific with, with Scrimp, I could have had this done by now. Okay. And I, I don't like flashy dunks and none of that. Like, flashy dunks get blocked all the time, especially on my team. And one thing I hate, I hate about Triple Threat is that they would do the most outrageous, craziest dunks ever when they have a wide open, easy dunk and get blocked. Especially online, you know, uh, offline's not too bad, but online they would do the craziest dunks, and it's just like you just cost me three points, you just cost me two points. That's, a, that's off. Like I can't stand when they do that. So shoot over those, yeah. If I ain't had it before, I definitely got it now. But yeah. For uh, if you if you don't get blocked, that's easy. That's another good way to, to stay in my my rotation. You know, you can defend and you don't get blocked. I can't really ask for much much else. Everybody, I feel like everybody can shoot these days, and if you can't shoot, as long as you're not getting scored on or, or taking points off our off side of the ball on offense from getting blocked, I'll find a way to play you. I'm surprised he didn't dunk that. Let's see the handles. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't say that you could run your offense through him, but I mean, if it comes down to it and you, and you need a bucket and he has the ball late, I'd say you could probably create a shot. I mean, I'm I'm by no means anywhere near the best dribbler in the game, but I feel like if it comes down to it, you could definitely create a shot with him. Don't run your offense through him, but you could definitely, definitely create shots through him. Like for me, he's gonna be more of a pick and pop guy. Space the floor, big, like, because I got Ralph, and Ralph, Ralph makes a lot more shots than I originally thought, but to have somebody that's like a legit pick and pop guy, I think that'll definitely uh, help my team. Scotty. I know I got to get 36 with uh, Scrimp, but I mean, I'm 10 points away. I can get that, get that easily. <clears throat> Yeah, I definitely wish 2K for like, you know, player player challenges, like score a certain amount of points to the player. 
I definitely wish they did it more. Just more triple threat challenges. Triple threat is just so much quicker than, say, playing a, a game that's four quarters. Get that out of here. Four quarters. You got to take again. And uh, four quarters in five minutes. Like, that's 20 minutes if the ball doesn't even stop. Which, as you know, when you start whooping on the CPU, they love calling timeouts and love fouling. So, like, it just makes everything so much more time consuming than it needs to be. Thought it was going to be a snatch block. But yeah, you I mean you can't. It's a bad release. Can't uh, uh, grab that Sloan. You can't beat you know, 60 points triple threat. Like, can't beat it. But uh, but yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can cheese him. That should be cash. Yes, cash. <coughs> yeah, and I, and you know when I first got Jerry Sloan, like I said, shooting around with him, like I mean his release is definitely good. But uh, it's, it's just a little too quick for me. But this release, I like this release a lot more. Like, like I like that a lot more. Like, it's, it's green. And I know some people shoot the meter off, meter on. I've always been a meter on guy. So I just, I don't see a point to change it. Especially sometimes when you get like a weird catch animation that makes you fade. Or you just don't shoot it how you want to. The meter at least tells you, you know, hey, here, here's where you should release it. So. Some people are such such uh you know good players of the game that they can, they can always tell okay little anchor breaker it's cash little anchor breaker animation okay some people are, you know are just so good at the game they could tell if they're about to fade or, sh or shoot a, a different shot in the meter and they're like the shot it's gonna take longer or shorter but like i said i've always had the meter on so i'm just gonna keep it on because that's just how it's always been like if it ain't broke don't fix it that's how i view it good d scotty it's off all, all we need is technically one more point with him, but you know, like stuff like that. Like I can't stand his online. That's that's a snatch ball. Like, that's easily getting blocked. I can't stand when they do stuff like that. And a tip my friend had taught me a while ago was that when you go up for a dunk, you know, you as you're holding turbo. Then I'm on current gen, by the way. But you uh you hold the right stick up, and it makes them do quote unquote a non flashy dunk which I think it really means they do like the most basic dunk they have which I guess is non flashy but so I, I usually always do that but on triple threat online it doesn't matter like if you hold this stick up like you'll still do a a flashy dunk that right there was me holding the right stick up and he did the most generic dunk there is which is fine no cock back nothing crazy I'm not gonna get, not gonna buck that so that's just I just that's the one thing I just can't stand about triple threat online like you could be you could be trying to play play normal and not do something crazy and because it's online it's kind of like a I guess like an all star atmosphere like every player can do a crazy dunk or some, something like that. But I mean I don't I don't even need to score him no more. Let me see if I can get this over with quicker. Like I said, Sloan's got an ultra quick jumper. And that right there feels feels like a shot he could have made. You know, he got sharp take like uh, I don't know I, I don't think good block I don't think sharp take is what it used to be. In uh, in 2K, like I think it was 2K19, or maybe even 2K20. Like sharp take was just crazy to have. Like, but nowadays, I mean, I don't know. I feel like for the most part, if you got sharp take, you should be making a lot more contested whites because it it is sharpshooter takeover. Like it's it is what it says. But if you cross. I wish you would pop back for the three. Let me just check real quick and make sure. I, I know I got five threes. Yeah, I got nine with them. Okay, I'm good to go. Yeah. Good lob. Okay, okay. But yeah, what what level are y'all at? I mean, season season six came out. Uh, was it Friday? It came out. I can't remember. I know it came out last week. It's Monday at the time of recording this. I think it came out. See, that should be cash to me. Like, even though Shark takes winding down, like that's open. If if it's open, and it's a white, that should be cash to me. Like. Let's see, can he hit that? Can he hit the fades? Okay, he, he, he can hit fading threes. I think he did have either gold or half difficult shots. But yeah, what what level are y'all in uh in the new season? Like I said, I think it came out Friday. It's Monday at the time of this video, and even though I don't have the the season reward showdown, which gives you 15 15,000 XP, I'm still leveling up pretty quickly. Like I'm doing pretty much all the challenges I can. I um, mean, yeah, I'm leveling up you know pretty pretty quickly, and even though I got you know here uh, a little faster. Than, than others. I definitely think the last 100k 
You have to do a post game. The last 100k is gonna take a while. Like it's crazy. You can get to level 30 and be at 40 something k, but from 30 to 40, you have to get to 150k. Like it's it's just crazy. You can get to 40k in 30 levels, but for the last 10 levels, you got to get over 100k. Like it's that's just 2k logic for you. Like it doesn't make any sense. That's that's why it's 2k's logic. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely curious to see how uh stay back for the three. Like it's just IQ. I'm definitely curious to see how how far along other people are and if they're as far as me or have some of y'all hit level 40 already I, I haven't really been doing too much research to see if other people have hit level 40 but I mean I'm, I'm definitely curious if, have y'all hit level 40 yet and uh if so when how long it take you to, were you on the game non-stop or was casually playing like I feel like I've been playing pretty casually like in between classes and when I had free time not doing work so I, I had definitely haven't been you know sweating the game I feel like and I'm the type of people I don't I don't really ever play unlimited until I feel like my squad's ready. That's cash. Like I know when I first got on here, I, I started last season. When I first got on my team, I didn't play online until I had uh, my squad ready. Like I know I wanted to get Jeremy Grant. I know I wanted to get Vince Carter once I found out that he was the mural. So I didn't I didn't really even play online until I had my team ready. And my goal right now is to get uh, Giddy. So I'm probably not gonna play too much online until I get Giddy and maybe another backup post yeah i don't really have a lot of my team my team uh points like i don't know i'm just i'm just bad at spending them i usually spend them all on packs even though pack odds are terrible but i don't really care i mean a lot of the players i've gotten now are players for free like vince carter uh sprint for living up jerry sloan and for the most part like the players i'm right now like i've uh i'm cool with these players like, i'm cool with having scotty barnes i'm cool with having ralph another free player I got Sean Kemp off the spin wheel, even though I don't really use them. I mean, the players, the team I have now, I don't really mind having them. Like I said, I just, I just want a better point guard. I want a new point guard, and I want a, what you call it? I think I need to start working on my post. But yeah, see if you can go ahead and end the game here. If you can, and I mean that's, that's it. I think Scrimp had uh, around 40 points, maybe even more than that. I mean, pretty, pretty solid card. Like I said, he, I think he moves really well. The B610, solid player build. Let's see. Yeah, 44, I mean, yeah. So, he definitely, definitely carried the load in most of the most of the work for us. But, yeah, I mean, if y'all are definitely interested in these type of videos, just be sure to, to to like and subscribe, and I'll definitely keep pumping out more, more content. I do plan on playing other games like Warzone and just other games people are interested in. But also games I feel like I'm... I'm entertaining enough when I play. I don't want to play a game that I'm terrible at because no one wants to watch that. But yeah, I mean, that's that's about it. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.